Okay, so we're going to be looking at today the Arab-Israeli conflict. And now this is not something that is a new conflict. I think there's been conflict in this region of the world for a very long time. Um, so it's, it, it really is an enduring issue. But moving right along, the area of the world that we're talking about is the Middle East. Okay, now to see where that is real quick. This is Israel. Okay, here's the Middle East. You have Africa, Europe. And as I scroll in here, Israel's is located right along the Mediterranean Sea. You have Egypt right here to their left, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, and here's Israel. It sits right on the Mediterranean Sea. So that's the area of the world that we are talking about. The geography here, there's two major rivers. I'm sure you've heard of these from your older social studies classes in maybe sixth or seventh grade. You got the Nile and the Egypt, the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers. And they are in the um, what's called the Fertile Crescent, right? So that's the Iraq Syria area, okay, runs through both of them. The climate in this region is arid or dry, and the water is scarce. One of the major resources they do have is oil. So now OPEC is the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, which we're going to talk about in later units, but they control the exportation of oil. We're hearing a lot about them in the news now. Another asset to the Middle East is the Suez Canal. This is a man-made waterway. It's a canal built by France to shorten travel between Europe and Asia. It goes right through the uh, well, Suez, but it's at the top of Egypt there, so it connects the Indian Ocean to the Mediterranean. As far as religions, we have a heterogeneous culture in this area. Lots of different religions, okay? We have the birthplace of three of the world's oldest religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And there's similarities of these three religions in that they're all monotheistic. They believe in one God, and they all give guidelines for living. However, those guidelines, they differ, all right? So people disagree about these things. That's why there's a lot of conflict in this area of the world as is. It's a very heterogeneous place. Fundamentalists are people with a strict interpretation of religious belief. So there are a lot of fundamentalist people in this area of the world and fundamentalist governments and religions, okay, where they might push Islam or Christianity or another religion. So they're fundamentalists, meaning they're almost, uh, you know, they have extreme beliefs and strict interpretations. Islamic fundamentalists are strict interpretation of the Quran, and they are very much against westernization things they see as westernization would be the style of clothing that Europeans wear, right? Um, Christianity in general, capitalism, um, you know, and later on with the creation of Israel, you have this very westernized group of people, Jews, that are now living in this area of the world. So it really clashes with the culture. Now, during colonialism, this area of the world was valuable to um, European countries, okay? The motives were a strategic location because it was at the crossroads of three continents, the Suez Canal. They also had raw materials. The response to imperialism was that a lot of these countries responded with nationalism. After World War II, just as a lot of other places did, a lot of countries gained their independence. The leaders of independence movement was Ataturk from Turkey. Okay. And then there was a pan-Arab movement, the pan-Arabism we talked about in the previous lesson. And the goals were to unite all Arabs to one nation. It did fail ultimately, okay, but that was their goal with pan-Arabism. With regards to Israel, it is also a very heterogeneous place where you have lots of different cultures. You have two basic sides. You have the Zionists who want to create and establish a homeland for Israel, which we're going to talk about in the next video. And then you have the Palestinians and their supporters, usually the Arabs, that are supporting them in, in not having a uh, independent Jewish state. Okay, so there's a lot of different viewpoints and a lot of conflict and a lot of bad blood in this area of the world that's been going on for a long time. Okay, so it's important to understand we have a heterogeneous populations, different religions, different cultures, different languages, and they don't really get along well.